I have spent the last year and a half without social media and many of you know that because I have been making YouTube videos about it. So by social media, I mean Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. If you're new here, I make videos about minimalism and slow living every week. So subscribe if you are into living a more intentional life. Minimalism was my first step into living a more slow paced life. But to date, I think that modifying my smartphone to be a dumb phone has been the most impactful slow living lifestyle change that I've made. As I was thinking about it this week, I think that minimalism made me reassess all my possessions. And so unsurprisingly, or I guess I should say, it didn't take long for me to start looking at my phone a little different too. I really don't want this video to sound like I'm some type of extremist. Uh, technological advances in our modern age are not all bad. I think it's so cool that we can literally learn anything about anything. I am so grateful to be living in this time period and I'm really grateful to be raising kids in this time period. Can you believe that it was only a little over a decade ago that none of us had cell phones? Our parents, their parents, our great grandparents, they raised kids without smartphones. They drove places without smartphones. I think humans in general used to just have a whole lot more time uh, to process, check in with themselves, process emotions, assimilate information, and live in reality instead of this like warped social world that we can enter and exit at any time, people can contact us at any time. I just don't think we're meant for it. I really think we're approaching a time in history where people start to say, you know what, that's enough for me. I think, I think that's enough for me. I wanna be able to tell this thing what to do and not have it control me. I would not have started this YouTube channel had I not both quit social media and dumbed down my smartphone. At first when I quit Instagram, it was really hard. And then I think like three or four months in, that like habitual checking, feeling that weird feeling of like uh, missing out um, went away and I had so much more time that I decided to start creating this YouTube channel. Then I realized like, wait, I still feel like I'm attached to my phone and on my phone way more than I'd like to be, even though I'm trying to be intentional about it. It just all felt kind of vague still. So I went to my um, settings. Under your settings, you can click this little icon called screen time, and it shows you your daily average. And I remember checking this at the time and realizing that I still spent sometimes over two hours per day on my phone. And so I Googled it and I was like, surely that includes podcasts and Spotify because I you know, love to listen to podcasts and at least one a day. And we have Spotify on the house all day. I was like, okay, it's fine. It's surely just me <laughs> listening to audiobooks. It isn't. It's only when you have your screen actually on and you're like touching it looking at something, scrolling through something, that is what it tracks. And you can even break it down and like see all the activity. For me, it was like texting, Googling things. Um, I used to Google just about anything that came to my mind. It freaked me out so much that I was like, that's, that's it. I'm getting a light phone and I'm getting rid of my smartphone. So I did, I got a light phone and I planned to just keep this in case I needed it to like drive somewhere. My light phone came and there were th some things about the light phone that I was like, you know what? I really miss some of the things about my smartphone. I wonder if there's a way that I could tailor my smartphone to be more like the light phone. And so I started searching that on the internet and literally nothing came up. And so I don't know what that means for like the searchability or success of this video. Probably not great, but whatever. So I started just playing around with my phone at night, trying to figure out how I could modify my phone to fit my more slow living lifestyle. And this is what I discovered. It's been about six months now, and I am just so excited to share it with you in hopes that it changes your life as much as it has changed my life. This is getting really loud, so let's go inside. Uh, sorry about the mess. We're so just getting moved in, so you're gonna have to forget that. I miss being able to be part of like group texts and sending photos to our family members of things, and also being able to like see those photos too. I also missed maps. Each of us have to decide what conveniences you know, the pros outweigh the cons. Like for example, my audiobooks and podcasts, 
that kind of thing I now just do on my laptop. Some things are just actually better to not be as convenient for me, if that makes sense. I prefer it to not be at my fingertips. I still have access to it on my computer, but I don't carry it around with me all the time. So let's do it. Let me show you how I dug down my smartphone. Okay, so you'll go to your settings, click settings, and go down to screen time. Under screen time, there's an app that has like a little red stop in Uno. It's the skip, skip your turn thing. Okay, click that, content and privacy restrictions. So in here, you can go through and customize all of the things that you want to basically block on your phone. When I turn on my content and privacy restrictions, it looks like that. All I have access to on my phone is calls, texts, and maps. That is really all I'm looking for in a phone. It's for me to be able to call people, text people, and not get lost when I'm driving. I still do have access to the camera. Sometimes I go back and forth on that. Really the only thing I take pictures of is my kids. And I really prefer whipping out like my actual camera and carrying that around with us than like always getting out my phone to take pictures of them. I also just feel like I don't want my kids growing up like seeing me with my phone every time they're doing something cool or memorable. Yeah, I said all that and then also right now I still do have the camera on there. I, I go back and forth on it. And also just not take pictures sometimes too, that is fine. We don't need to like document and record everything, right? Like we can just enjoy things sometimes. Okay, that, that did it, I'm gonna take it off. If there ever was a situation that arose that you needed to have your phone go back to being a smartphone, you could do that. I also decided to change the background. I feel like personalizing it with like pictures of my kids or something was just making me feel like this is a family member. Reminding myself this is just, this is a, this is a tool for me, it has been very helpful. Maybe I'm just nostalgic, but when I think back to my childhood and my teenage years and just my life before cell phones, it definitely feels good to have it reined in a bit more. It's both. And I think we all just have to decide consciously what is best for us. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next Wednesday for my next one.